But with the jobless rate on the rise, managing your finances is key. This morning, Charles Fisher speaks with a financial coach about how this can be accomplished. These are going to be extremely challenging times. With lots of jobs at a standstill, finance is going to be key. Financial coach Glenn Ferguson indicating that there are three key conversations to have. The first of those conversations is with your family. You want to make sure that your family understands your current financial position. There's nothing to be ashamed of. We're, most of us are going to experience difficult times. The central bank tells us that 90% of Bahamians have less than $1,000 saved. So it's clearly indicative that we're living paycheck to paychecks. And with this complete shutdown, then we know that those paychecks have really been uh, reduced or eliminated. So the first thing is to have a conversation with your family so that we understand exactly where you are as a family, recognizing that this could go on for the next 60 days. So in, for the next 60 days, how are you going to maintain yourself? You have to have a plan for achieving that. Second conversation is with your creditors. And when I speak of creditors, I'm talking about anybody that you pay money to on a regular basis. So you want to ensure that you are talking to your landlord. You want to ensure that you're talking to your bank. You want to make sure that you're not avoiding them. We as Bahamian like to avoid the situation, but talk with them and make sure that if you can, to update those payments as quickly as possible so it gives you the leverage going forward to negotiate with them. It's easier to negotiate with somebody when you're up to date than when you're behind. So that's very critical for you to do. And the third should be with your employers and any government entity that provides assistance. You want to know in the first instance, what will your employer be doing during these times? Most persons are having layoffs or job redundancies. Find out exactly how you're going to be impacted by this so that you know how you will manage your finances. Once you know what your position is, then you're able to look to the various government agencies to ensure that you're able to access the benefits that they provide you with. We've heard about the uh, short-term benefits being provided by national insurance. Clearly, you want to be able to access those benefits. We're also hearing about benefits being provided by the Small Business Administration for those persons who are self-employed and business owners. We want to be able to know how that we can access those funds. Now is the time for that survival instinct to kick in. So when it comes to shopping, Yes, we may not have the necessary resources to do the shopping that we'd like to do. And so now look at how you can pool, appreciating the social distancing, but look at how you're able to pool with your family and friends to ensure that you have all the necessary resources needed and you yourself not having to hoard and not have the supplies that will get you through the stretch. We're driven by impulses and most times is what we see the other person doing. So if my neighbor or my friend or my family is going to the store, we want to do the same thing. We, want, we don't want to be felt. We, want to, we don't want to feel left out. But what I want to say to you is you, now what you want to do is to look at creating meal plans. Uh, with the children being home from school, yes, that's an extra burden on your finances. And we know that they're going to eat a week of gross, a month's worth of grocery in a week's time. So you want to get those meal plans so that you structure those meals and you know exactly what you need. Because the more cash you can hold on to, the better you will be for the long run. No paycheck coming in on a consistent basis. Extra funds not show off. So it's best to hold on to what you have now. We are a touristic society and economy. And so you have our straw workers, our artisans who work on that daily cash flow. And they live from day to day knowing that they will achieve that cash flow. And so what we're looking at here is a situation where persons need now to really manage what they have and to be able to sit down, have the conversation with their family so that they're able to do what? To access access the help that is available and the sooner you know the help that is available in your particular circumstance then the sooner you're able to regularize or get some comfort to what your position may be some great financial advice we must all take into consideration